no tendremos presencia en ninguna de las instancias de ese diabólico instrumento de la mal llamada OEA. Tampoco tendrá este infame organismo en consecuencia oficinas en nuestro país. Nicaragua has officially withdrawn from the Organization of American States or the OAS. On Sunday, April 24, the government of Nicaragua closed down the OAS offices in the capital city, Managua. In November last year, the Nicaraguan government had sent a letter to the OAS Secretary General Luis Almagro announcing their decision to leave the regional alliance. This action was taken after the US-dominated OAS refused to recognize the Sandinista Front's victory in Nicaragua's elections earlier in November. Daniel Ortega had won the presidency with 75.8% of the vote. Ratificamos nuestra invariable decisión de abandonar la OEA, según lo expresado el día 19 de noviembre de 2021. Y al confirmar nuestra denuncia y renuncia irrevocables ante esta calamitosa, truculenta y mentirosa dependencia del Departamento de Estado del imperialismo yanqui, también comunicamos que a partir de esta fecha dejamos de formar parte de todos los engañosos mecanismos de este engendro, llámense Consejo Permanente, llámense Comisiones, llámense Reuniones, llámense Cumbre de las Américas. The OAS was founded 73 years ago in 1948. In theory, it is supposed to bring together all 35 countries of the American continent. However, several Latin American countries have denounced the OAS for its close involvement with coup d'etats and other destabilizing efforts in the region. For instance, the OAS lit the fuse for the 2019 coup in Bolivia. Without presenting any evidence, the OAS cast doubt over the election results in which Evo Morales had won, with over 10 percentage points over the runner-up. This set off unrest and activated a plot that overthrew Morales. The 2017 elections in Honduras were actually riddled with fraud. Despite the documented crimes of the Juan Orlando Hernandez regime, the OAS led by Luis Almagro embraced and legitimized the Honduran government. As a result, the narco dictatorship led by Hernandez remained in power for an additional four years. The OAS has ignored human rights abuses by security forces in the past in countries where the governments are allied with the US imperialist agenda. Luis Almagro visited Ecuador in 2019 to congratulate the government of Lenin Moreno for its handling of protests that left 11 dead, over a thousand injured and hundreds arrested. He would later say that Chilean President Sebastián Piñera efficiently defended public order, the same Piñera who declared war on his country's protesters. Under Almagro, the OAS has violated its own charter and procedures time and time again to attempt to intervene in Venezuela. He immediately recognized the self-proclaimed presidency of Juan Guaido and accepted his diplomats into the OAS. Almagro also tried to invoke the Rio Treaty, a defense pact that could have opened a path for a regional invasion of Venezuela, and has said all options should be considered for overthrowing the Venezuelan government. The OAS also strongly supported the coup attempt in Nicaragua in 2018 in which the US was heavily involved. The violence of the protesters who killed at least 60 people was deliberately ignored to frame a narrative around government human rights abuses and justify intervention. Just like in Venezuela, the OAS has been supporting illegal US sanctions in Nicaragua which have been crippling the economy. Nicaragua is the second country after Venezuela to voluntarily withdraw from the OAS. Nicaragua no es colonia de nadie, por lo tanto, no es parte de un ministerio de colonias. El pueblo heroico de esta Nicaragua bendita y siempre libre expulsa a la nefasta organización de Estados Americanos como nuestro general de hombres y mujeres libres, Augusto Nicolás Andino, derrotó y expulsó a la marinería yanqui de esta patria libre y soberana.